Today's subject is how to generate more racket head speed with your forehand. Okay, now from the ready position, you know, many players have different take backs. There's a lot of different ways to take the racket back. Okay, you've had great players that come back very high with the racket, and you've had very, very good players as well that kind of come straight back. Okay, so you had, um, there was one gal on the WTA tour, Kamiko Date. She had pretty much a, from the ready position, she would just come right back here and swing low to high. She had a top spin forehand. But what happens when you do that, it's harder, more difficult to generate racket head speed because the racket, you know, tends to stop here. Then you're trying to, you know, generate power coming from a stop position. So how do we generate power? We use what's called a loop swing. Now, most players are using this today. So you're coming back high with the racket. And then from here, you're going to let the racket drop. Okay, how far does it have to drop? At least a good foot below the contact point. And that's one continual motion. So, you know, when you come straight back, you're coming from that stop position, and then you're just trying to, you know, swing as fast as you can. 